Hello, welcome back to Revenger in Sports and another edition of What is in Our Stand Today. It's a series of maintenance type videos, preventative maintenance, service videos, those kinds of things. So if you like that type of content, please make a comment below and let me know that you like that type of content. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to replace cartridge bearings inside of a hub of a wheel. Now, um, there are many different ways to do this if you're a shady tree mechanic, but if you come to a shop, this is the proper way to do it. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is this bearing removal tool. And you have these options here, okay? And, you know, if you need to take a measurement of the inner diameter, the ID of a bearing to choose which one you're going to use, then please do so. And this is the one we're going to use today. Now, this is a tool that I want to show you how it's going to work before I actually put it into the, the bearing. You see how this has a cone shape to it? And then this has some slits, okay? So as you tighten this down, this is going to press into here. Because these are this is slotted, it's going to spread. And as it spreads, it's gonna lock on to a bearing. And this is what I mean by locking on. So this is a cartridge bearing. It's going to go in here like this. And as I tighten this down, it's going to spread and actually grab on to that bearing. So right now it is, it's a loose fit, but we're going to tighten that down to extract it. Okay. And this side here is six millimeters. And this side here, uh, these wrench flats, I, I believe it's like a 19. I don't have a 19 wrench, so I'm going to use a crescent wrench. Okay, so let's get going on taking this bearing out. So once again, I'm going to put that guy in there like that. And we have our six millimeter here. Tighten that down until we have we have it tight enough there. And now we put this guy on here and we tighten, tighten, tighten. I've got a fairly good feel for this, so I'm going to go about that tight and now we can obviously see that that tool that extraction tool is now holding on to that bearing so if you notice here i've got basically just a trash can i've lined it with some um black t-shirts and basically that just creates a nice cushion area so i'm going to drive this out but so that you don't damage the spokes or, or get the wheel out of true i'm actually going to hold it in the air and pound it out okay and this just a, a, a just an extension and i'm actually only going to be hitting my extraction tool um, to get this out. So we're going to start with just light tops and progressively okay progressively tap it harder and harder until we finally get it out. Okay so you see that that bearing's on there. 
And just to free it back, to free it up again, you just have to loosen this. Okay. So of course, oopsie. Of course, that's going to be a little bit harder because I don't have it installed in the in the wheel, and I'm doing everything in the air. Well, we're not going to waste too much time on this. Oh, here we go. It's coming. Okay. So there it is. The bearings off of the extraction tool. And that's done. Okay. So we can get rid of that bearing, but my trash is lined. I'm going to set that aside. And we're done with the extraction tool. So what we're going to do now is press in the new bearing. And what I want to show you is... So that extraction tools is from Wheels Manufacturing. This is also from Wheels Manufacturing and it's a bearing press and it's got all the different size bearings. Um, and then basically some spacers because you'll see what I'm gonna do with that here in a minute. Okay, so that shows you the fittings. And this is the new bearing, okay? So we're gonna use this new bearing and this fitting so it doesn't damage the bearing, okay? It fits perfectly there and it is 30 by 17. So there's the bearing in its carrier. And I know that you folks that have been watching my channel for a while know that I grease everything, right? So we'll put a little bit of grease on here to ensure ease of installation, but even more importantly, ease of removal in the future, okay? And, you know, it doesn't hurt Put a little bit also on the area that you are installing it into. Okay, so we'll drop that bad boy in there like that, and we're going to put that fitting on there like that. Then, what we're going to do is use our press to put it on. Now, you can, just to give yourself some clearance from the spokes, use that spacer, okay? So I'm gonna push that guy in there like that. And then on the other side, you have this bearing here and now remember you want to get it in there as straight as possible right so you know you're you're installing a bearing so you want to make sure that you're getting it in as straight as possible okay so now you slowly start turning and I know this is hard for for my cameraman to film but see if you can see this bearing slowly getting pressed into the hub see how it's I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to not put any shade on there all right so it slid in really nice. We'll give it a nice oomph. And then that should be in. Take your guy apart, your press. Set that down. 
And now you can see that the new bearing has been pressed in. And hopefully that gives you enough lighting, sir, so you can see that in there. Now, I know that there are <laughs> other ways to press or extract the bearing. But I think that you folks that have been coming to my channel for a while know that I like to use the proper tools, that I properly torque items. And this is the preferred method and the correct method to extract the bearing and press another bearing in. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this information useful, if you found this video entertaining or educational, please put a comment down below. Please like and subscribe. Please share with your friends. And please, uh, we're getting so close to a thousand subscribers. We're at like 980 or something like that. And we're getting really close to a thousand. This channel's for you folks. So please like and subscribe. Let's keep growing this channel. And those of you who have subscribed, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you. And we'll see you up the road.